High school football, man, there's nothing better. I love it. I mean, get to, a chance for me to see the boys play together is amazing. I, you know, I got to play with my brother uh, in high school and in college, which was like the biggest treat of my life, you know, to have Abram to throw to. And it's kind of what uh, Parker has with, uh, you know, with Peyton throwing him passes. Seeing Denny coach the team, I'm sure it takes you back. It does. You know, he went to a nine-yard shotgun that we did back in like 91, and that really is what propelled us to who Evangel really became in, in our heyday. And so when, he, when you see my son back there in a nine-yard shotgun, it's just like, it's crazy. It, uh, he looks a lot like I do in his mannerisms and stuff and the way he throws the ball. Payton Fulgham, quarterback, Evangel Christian. Man, what, what's it like to, to lead this team? Up? Man, this, it's such a legacy and it's such a um, high expectation on this team. And right now with our new head coach, Pastor Denny, He's not new to the game, but he's new to us, and uh, we're just gonna keep pushing forward and trusting the process because we've all we've all bought into this process, and now we're just waiting to reap our harvest. So, you know, they're young and they don't have a great offensive team yet, but in a couple years they'll be really good because they're getting so much experience. And Denny's gonna work with him close. Talking to Josh on the sideline earlier, he said, "Man, it's so special watching you out there. What's it like having him out here on the sideline?" It, it, it's pretty fun, and it's it's fun playing against. He won Coach Dunn, Coach Dunn's first state championship, and I got to play against him. And now I'm playing with Pastor Denny, who's also another. Uh, legacy leader, and, and, and they're just huge names, and I'm excited to play against them and with them. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, so he's getting to do exactly what I did, and you know, we had about 35, 40 players too um, when I was a freshman. We had to build the thing, you know, but we took pride in it, and I, that's what I tell those the boys. I said, you got to take pride and ownership of what you're doing and get everybody around you really pumped up about taking pride in how you look, how you play, how you feel. Um, and, and then you know you can you can create good opportunities off of that. Just the momentum that 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 brings. The more you put in, the more you get out. And I said, you're getting a good chance to. You're losing right now. Evangel's losing games, but you know the opportunity that is really there is to gain experience, and then in a couple of years really be able to showcase what you really have talent-wise. So it's a big deal for them to play early. My team is great. I wouldn't rather play. I mean, I know we just lost, but I wouldn't rather. I wouldn't play for another team. No matter what the score says, we could have got beat 80 to zero. I wouldn't want to play with anybody else and with any other coaches. Pastor Denny just means so much to us and the team, and he's came in and put his culture in place, and now we're just buying in and following it. So I can't wait for what's to come. Watching your sons out on the field and watching your nephew on the phone. Yeah, <laughs> watching General play. Uh, Allen's got a district game tonight over in Texas, and getting a chance to watch him is fun. I, uh, next week they play Denton Geyer, which is a huge game for them, and I'll be at that one. But. Uh, you know, I've worked with General through the years and now getting the, really a chance to work with these, you know, with my boys here at Evangel uh, at the high school level. It's so much better at the high school level. You know, growing up, they're so small, they can't do a whole lot. But, uh, you know, General's a senior and, and he's having a great year, so I'm, I'm happy for him. Now, watching your cousin on yeah, uh, General. Yeah, what's, what's that like to have a General over there? At Man, Island it's, it's crazy. He's playing at Allen. That's some big time football over there. So he's getting that in at Allen, you know. He's getting the job done. He won Dallas Player of the Week a couple weeks ago, so he's getting the job done over there for sure. Man, y'all got the bloodline. <laughs> yes, we do. I'm very <laughs> thankful we do. How would you say he ranks between like a in the family? Oh man, JD. You know, Abram I think is maybe the best player that ever played at Evangel, and I'm not kidding. My my brother was a receiver and broke national records, but he was unstoppable. And um, he wasn't a quarterback, but. He was just phenomenal. They had to double, triple team him, and he just got open. He started at LSU as a freshman wide out when there was two receiver sets back then. And so he's one of the two, two best receivers in the state of Louisiana, you know. And now with the spread offense, so many guys get to, you know, so many more receivers get to be on the field. But J.D., also my brother John David, who played at USC, I mean, he won two state titles the two years he started and didn't even play his senior year. So, I mean, I think the most talented and most – seasoned player at the high school level was JD because he saw all of us grow up. He was in the system for so long. I had to kind of create my opportunities, but he, he came with, uh, you know, they had great teams. Jacob Hester, you know, was his running back and they had, I think 17 guys signed D1 off of his class. So, you know, five guys went to the NFL. That's, that's, we, I didn't have that. So what JD did at Evangel and what he had around him was just unbelievable. And he made the most of it. He was, he was really good. How exciting is it to be on the field with your brother? Man, it's it's the best thing ever. I know I always got him. I miss that throw down here to him, and that's totally me. We make that throw ten times every day. So, you gotta share a room. You have different rooms. No, we have different rooms. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many teams do you think you've been on with your brother over the years? Shoot, between all, all sports we've played, probably around 
over 20 different teams. And so we've never, you know, we've always, we've always gone to class together. We've never been in a different class, and uh, we've always been on the same team. So I've never been away from them for more than, you know, 40 minutes. <laughs> An offensive mind of Denny Duran. What's it like to play under him? Uh, well, he really takes care uh, of you know the quarterback. It's a quarterback-friendly system. It, you know, you, we talked about the nine-yard deep shotgun, but he's doing that because the pass protection isn't great right now. They're they're young. They're not not really good at blocking up front. So he's trying to get Peyton back there and give him just a, a fighting chance. And once once they grow up and these guys get bigger, faster, stronger around him, and then receivers will start making plays. They'll be able to run the ball a little bit more. But I, you know, Denny's just a great offensive. Mind. I'm glad he kind of took the thing back over because uh, the kids are excited again and uh, they know that Denny's been there and done that. And I think that, you know, they, they're more confident with Denny calling plays because they, they believe in him. They know he's, he's had so much success that you can't, uh, you can't argue with that, you know.